welcome back ladies and gentlemen to gaming in the max and the start of a new series on the channel hearts of iron for kaiserreich bum, 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 bum. the austrian empire under carl the first after his uncle franz ferdinand was assassinated in 1914 carl von habsburg lothrin became the designated successor of kaiser franz Josef, upon uh, whose death carl inherited the many thrones of the habsburg empire in the late 1916 uh, in spite of the victory in the Weltkrieg, austria remains burdened by an archaic political system and unrest emperor carl now has the arduous task of reforming the alien empire despite numerous internal and external threats uh, we start out as social conservative um, we have the austro-hungarian ties broken which gives us a daily political power gain of point uh or negative 0.15 and consumer factory goods plus 15 percent and we get the vienna circle which gives us plus three research speed and let's jump on in so we will start out uh our goal is to uh switch the empire to a paternal autocratic empire um and end the dual rule so this is what this is considered the dual rule um we have austria bohemia hungaria galatius and or galatia and lodermeria and illyria they're all part of the dual monarchy um they're kind of pretty much what happened was all the states have their own independent leadership except that um they're all sworn they they've all sworn loyalty to the austrian throne so if you guys would like to read through this this just talks about what's going on in the empire at the time all very good let's ooh, we got four research slots let's do the styre um come over here electronics i see that our planes are woefully inadequate which is fine uh civilian in industry we need a lot of civvy factories that's good to me military factories we need i say a lot of a lot of a lot of things uh civilian I'm not going to build those nasty, disgusting planes that they want me to have. Um, man, we start out with almost zero resources, which is not necessarily great. Um, are we building towed artillery? Yeah. Okay. This is pretty much the basis of what we need. A lot of support equipment, a lot more trucks. Um, not really worried about the basic light tanks right now. Um, so... Let's do Steyr, let's do Boher AG, which if I'm saying this right or wrong, let me know. Support equipment, we'll do, uh, there's a tank refurbishment plant. Let's do production conversion speed, output cost. This doesn't offer anything. might be good for later on train yeah we'll worry about that later we'll do the leopold geyser wolfen fabrik uh, and then our light tanks let's do we can't do that let's do viner there's some locomotive fabric I've, I've butchered those names which is fine the heavy cruiser We'll use you, and we don't have a light cruiser military organization, which is not great, but steel, immediately we're going to have to go to Germany and say, hey, Germany, please give me steel. Um, I'm not going to worry about the chromium, but steel's number one, and then uh, uh, I would like the one rubber, but I'm not going to waste a factory on it. Let's get our military into a field marshal. Eugene von Habsburg Lothrin, or then we have Alfred Jonas von Tenenu. Uh, he's from Galatia and Lodomeria. Well, and of course, this gentleman here is probably our uncle. Grandson of the hero of Aspern, Archduke Karl. Eugen entered the military as a part of the elite Kaiser Jäger Regiment, which is the Kaiser Hunter Regiment. Um, he would be from the first archduke to achieve a formal education at the Thuristian military and become a fully trained general staff officer 
He became a knight of the Teutonic Order as he rose through the ranks of the Austro-Hungarian army. Um, he became a field marshal. So I wonder if... Yeah, he's, he's a family member at least. We'll put him in charge. Man, he's an amazing armored and artillery leader. Sigismund. I kind of like Sigismund. Man, we dude, Austria has some amazing generals. Yeah, we'll do Ludwig, and then uh, wow, we have so many of these Comfort wagons. Yeah, we're immediately just gonna disband two of those. Those are trash. All right. Insufficient resources, we know about that. We can acquire Polish shares and sell our Polish shares over here in Poland. I think I'm going to try to increase a lot of my Polish shares, uh, but we shall see. Uh, start our national focus. There's nothing we can do right now, which is fine. It should come about uh, once the world tension's high enough. Fighter Coast Air Support. Yeah, we'll be getting rid of all of those. these fighters are horrible get rid of all those air wings we do have quite a large navy I say quite large uh, five battleships is a respectable navy in my opinion and we will form you up into your main um, let's see. Your ground pounder and iron side. Your iron side inshore fighter. Oh, that's oh, that's Nicholas Horthy or Nicholas Horthy. Um, I like you probably more. And then what? You are all submarines. There's a Hasburg. Oh, Maximilian. You're a destroyer. We will use you as our. Um, oh, you have that though. But you're most definitely... George Von Trapp is most definitely the better torpedo. You will, will be my spotter, though. Uh, once I start building the... Let's actually take these heavy cruisers. And I want to take you guys. Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I want. And then I want you all under uh, Maximilian, because he will be our scout flotilla and then we will worry about everything else here in a minute so let's get started we we do not start with almost any equipment oh i think i missed that with germany i didn't see what it said so uh yeah we're negative nine thousand rifles just starting right off the bat which is pretty horrendous so let's go to the market. I'm going to add all of these planes to the market. Um, and that's all we have to offer. Maybe someone will buy them. Sweden wants to purchase 105 of them, yeah. Bulgaria wants to buy some. Sell them to everybody. Germany, I don't know why Germany would need to even look at those. Assassination of Alexander Krensky. Uh, voting rights in the Legation Council. The Legation Cities was formed in 1928 as a result of the Americans' intervention in the Zili Fangtang conflict that they believed was going to spill over into open war between the Japanese and their Fangtang puppets and the Zili and their German backers. When a passenger train was attacked by Chinese warlords, America saw the opportunity to mediate not only in order to create a more permanent solution to the instability in the East, but also enshrine the open door policy in China, which allows all powers equal access to Chinese markets. Consisting of all official concessions in China, as well as a 30-mile neutral zone, the Legation Cities, officially known as the International Mandate for the Chinese Concessions, also hosts a forum, the Legation Council, for the various powers with interest in China to cooperate in Far Eastern policy. Uh, though the Austro-Hungarian Empire does not have a voting position on the Council, we mostly abstain, uh, or does have a voting position, my apologies, uh, we mostly abstain on the harebrained plans proposed by the Americans, Germans, and Japanese, supporting only such self-evidently reasonable motions as economic relief for the Chinese and our own citizens. A perfect arrangement. Gain 25 political power. Very nice. Let's, uh, let's acquire some holdings there. This will strengthen the Republicans. 
and maybe uh, Hungry wants to buy some of those planes, it's fine. Also, Ender is actually a pretty good gentleman there. And we do have Fruits of the Open Door, which gives us uh, resource gain efficiency plus 5% and construction speed plus 5%. Uh, we still can't do anything here. And we can't do anything over here. We will be doing the end of the dual rule. That's our main focus in the end. Uh, we gotta wait till March. That's fine. Keep going. We'll just gain a lot of political power for right now. And let's see. Everybody selling convoys, which I don't need. I need rifles. Need a lot, a lot of rifles, please. Actually, let me look at my trade of steel. Bohemia has a lot of steel. So let's actually cancel my trade with you. Go to Bohemia. It only takes two factories for the steel from Bohemia. So that's what we'll do. A chromium. Boris Sevenkov uh, is also assassinated. Uh, Serbia, Greece. No. Rubber. Yeah, none of my guys have rubber. That's fine. Um, Total starter. So who took over in Russia? Victor Chernoff. So they're social liberals. Edward VIII is crowned as king of Great Britain. We can't have any more Elpin Diego divisions. We need to get that deficit of guns down. Russia is selling some rifles. Buy them up. Should be one delivery. Dmitry Romanov is appointed interim president. Buy those Russian guns. And just wait to see if somebody else will bring about. We ask for docking rights. Germany likes us quite a bit. We can siphon funds to the LPP. Uh, the main vessel of our interest in Warsaw is the Liga Pens Wojskich Police, the Liga of Polish Statehood. The party advocates what they call the Austro-Polish Solution, union between the Poland under the protection of the Habsburg monarchy. We were robbed of this in 1919, but there is still considerable support among the Northern Kingdom under the Prussian boot. This is a uh, gains event, increased anti-monarchist sediment. This will strengthen the Republicans. Um, yeah, I kind of want Poland under my belt. Afghanistan declared war on the Dominion of uh, uh, India. Black Monday, my God, uh, on the 3rd of February 1936, the Berlin Stock Mar Exchange stopped sinking. It plunged, fueled by the instability of the market. Panic selling erupted as soon as the stock market opened on Monday. So there's increased world tension by four. Uh, the Fifth Anglo-Afghani War increases world tension by one. Who cares about Afghanistan? Right on. We do own the, oh, but we did have the majority, and we still do. Uh, Russia refused to sell me the rifles, which is very rude. Black Monday hits Austria. Black Monday has hit Germany, and it would not be long before its shockwaves rippled across Europe. Given its close proximity, Austria was among the first to be affected. The economy is struggling in troubling, troubling times. Lie ahead. Ach, got. Adds aftermath of Black Monday, which grants stability negative 20%, construction speed negative 60%, production efficiency cap negative 20%, factory output negative 50%, and resources to market negative 40%. Pretty, pretty devastating. Um, we have to wait for the general election. So this is probably the way we will go. Tuned economy and the worker spirit. Factory outputs more. 
uh, the Austrian elections of 1936. Since federalization began and the Austrian elections were mostly reduced to the German-speaking part of the empire, two major parties have dominated Austrian politics, the CS and the SDAP. This year's election, too, are harshly fought. The SDAP and the CS have very different ideas of dealing with the ongoing economic crisis. The SDAP's program focused on easing the workers' plight with a focus on unemployment benefits and government intervention. The CS, on the other hand, follows a program of severe austerity members. It's, it is for the people to decide. Do you feel the coffers? Getting inflation under control, careful investments, mend the social rift. Social promises. The Jacobins or Jacobins are elected in France. Uh, withdrawal from the Italian. Oh, well. My bad. I accidentally clicked off of that. We did withdraw from the Italian Republic, though. So our influence is not nearly what it was. The opening of school and the SDAP rally, even if the eco uh, economic situation of Austria has been dire for a while, the first years after the Weltkrieg when the CS and the SDAP still cooperated in their governance, the Austrian Empire saw widespread reforms in education and welfare. Uh, academies for specialized workers began construction. Workers' pensions were introduced and child labor was once and for all eliminated. Vienna has been regarded as a front runner in socialist circles. Today, a new academy is opened in the 9th District of Vienna, which the SDAP sees a major success. Many speeches by various politicians are held. Karl Renner always standing in the background. Renner has been effective head of the party since he was found the goodwill of the Emperor during the Weltkrieg with a policy of Bergfrieden and cooperation with the Crown. Um, we add socialist promises. Um, and gets other denounces the SDAP. That will put them, I believe, ahead. No, but it will pretty closely put them ahead. And I think Elder is who? The ASP. I'd prefer if they didn't claim the successes of a joint government as their own. We'll do that one because, again, we're trying to go down the National Austerity Council. So we'll just try to stay conservative as long as we can. I think we'll have an easier time going into paternal autocracy then. The illusion of Queen Hegemony shatters. The CS invites Prince Alto to a hunt. The CS, the party of the Petit Bour uh, Bourgois and the Catholic Church and the conservative countryside, usually refrains from holding large public events. In Vienna, they insisted or instead focus their efforts on a smaller private meeting. One such planned meeting will be in the form of a hunt in the Vannerwald. Prince Otto was formally invited to join the hunt, having enjoyed an art aristocratic education. The Habsburg hair is already such, or is already used to such social occasions. If he wants to, the successful hunt, or is he hurt? Uh, if he wants to, please don't be hurt. Please don't be hurt. Oh, oh. I could feel like my, my face sweating. Uh, following the hunt, a feast was held during which the radio interview with several prominent CS figures, but also Prince Otto was recorded. Seems like this was on purpose, as Prince Otto is now being associated with the party, and support amongst our most devoted subjects for the party has increased. Is this what they were hunting for? Change popularity of social conservative plus 3%. We can endorse the SDAP, or we can endorse the Chrysler Sosazel. Um, yeah, we'll endorse the conservatives. Again, that's who we're hoping to win this. The Ang Quick declared war on the left Kuomintang. And Marshal Wu Pefu backs Ang Queen. So that means that the Xing government is no longer going to back the... Uh, so they're going to do new elections. They're not going to placate the assembly. So we have to hope that the Nanjing Quick lasts out. Predicting election for the pro Austrian occupy or the pro Austrian opposition is a minor defeat, but I think we can uh, try to get that a little bit stronger. Still have not been able to do any part of our focus yet. And let me see. I want to do production for our dockyards. We'll turn five of you over. Uh, chromium. Who has chromium? If anybody does not look like any of my people do Cuba or South Africa we'll just get it from South Africa we don't need nearly as much steel 
I want to get the wrong rubber as well. Um, is anybody selling rifles? We got some old of my Austrian rifles, but well, let's see. We'll keep going. Yeah, we need a lot of rifles and trucks. The elections, uh, the final tally is in after this hard-fought election campaign. We should now find out the winner. Isn't this exciting? Yeah. And the CS wins the elections. The final count for the elections are in. While it was a close call, the overwhelming majority of the countryside votes have made the CS come first. As a divided society, which grants us daily political power gain, uh, negative 0.25. Change of popularity of social conservatives. Conservatism plus 10% in the Austrian Empire completes the focus general elections. <laughs> And then do the National Austerity Council, as we need to work. And Queen was annexed. The restoration of democracy in Australia, or Australasia, my apologies. Oswald Mosley, elected chairman of the TUC. And death of Pius the 11th. Germany says just sends their volunteers. Pius the twelfth is elected as the new pope. Ninth International Congress. So Germany is not wanting to uh, sell right now. So I am selling some of these old rifles. I don't really need a basic because I have infantry equipment one. But that does three. We can buy these just one clicks rifles, but man, that's requiring some Polish shares. I'm pretty sure if Poland joins us, we give them this territory, and then they uh, become stronger. And none of these guys have their own type of focus tree. Famine breaks out in Sichuan. Let's do radios. like you all to train but I really don't have enough fuel for that yeah Germany's not wanting to buy There's some more Mausers that went on sale Kurt von Schleichler's appointed Reich Chancellor buying some more rifles uh, the Central European Customs Union returns to activity. The Central European Customs Union, more commonly known as Mili Europa, has returned back to action once again summits of the Foreign Affairs Minister of the Organizations uh, organization being held each one with the intention of coordinating the economies of the alliance and facilitating easier flow of goods over time middle europe expanded to several official and unofficial fields of activity and the interests of the member states may take it to aid in one field or another of course certain intellectuals and political envision a bit more and the dreams of a chance to reform the organization and create something new a german economic hegemony a fulfillment of pan-european dreams time will tell we get the uh middle europa they're doing support for the arm industries, which is what? One military factory? Yeah, I agree. Uh, Hungary is the only one that wants the industrial advisors. But until we get rid of Black Monday, it's kind of useless. Exporting arms to Venezuela. We have been approached by an officer from the Venezuelan military looking to buy a large amount of small arms to refit their troops. While we obviously will have to say goodbye to part of our arms stockpile, it would be a rather lucrative contract that would stimulate our arms industry. We just don't have it. But we do get consumer good factor negative at 15%. It's only at 17 factories. All right. That just puts us in a higher deficit. We're at 6.5 thousand negative. You know what? Train for about as long as you can, which will only be, what, 10 days, 12 days? Germany canceled their trade agreement. Puts those Evias back on the market. 
and no way wants him. Let's acquire some more of the Polish interests, or the, uh, both the Poland. We'll gain uh, 100 political power from this. Always good. Let's do uh, compromise with the SDAP, which removes socialist promises and gives us a little bit more stability. And then maybe we can move off of civilian. I like him. We need to wait for our command power, though. Uh, the influence in the Italian government. In 1919, we signed an armistice with the Kingdom of Italy, which allowed us to garrison Lombardy and Venetia, or Venetia until the treaty was signed. The Italians were a little pleased with this defeat and rose up in revolution against their uh, Savoyard monarchy. Soon, he and his son abdicated, and there was a power vacuum in Italy as, a so or as socialist rebels seemed primed to overrun the entire nation. We offered the desperate Italians the aid of our armies in stopping the socialist advance. In exchange for joining a new Italian federation, a legitimate government we could deal with, the Seviards, white republicans, and southern forces agreed to our terms, and our armies pushed the socialists out of Lombardy. We did not concede to the republicans that a republican leader would be the interim head of the federation. Through the federation, council would retain some power behind the scenes. However, when socialists made moves to attack southern states of the federation in 1926, we were embroiled in the Illyrian crisis and could not promise to attack the socialists in support. Outraged, Sardinia, the Bourbons in Nepal, or Naples, and even the Holy Father himself ab abandoned our federation, leaving us with only Milan. Unfortunately, the Federation Council there was allowed to lapse in 1930 has not been renewed since. Even worse, we recently withdrew our military from the nation due to the Black Monday crisis, leaving them far more independent than they were. Now, the current Liberal government under Avano Bonomi has pushed forward to the election and bid for more support in the le legislature. However, their victory is not a sure thing, and we have some leeway to influence the election. The three moderate parties that have a real chance of winning are the Liberal Democrats currently in power, the People's Party, a conservative party who has... Who, has enjoyed our support in the past, and the Italian Republicans, hostile to the monarchy, but also vehemently anti ani and anti socialist. We can give our support and backing to one of the pro Austrian political parties to ensure that the right ones take power in Milan. Some ministers, however, are concerned that the over involvement might result in further support for the far right and the anti Austrian Italian Nationalist Association, or the A uh, ANI, or I guess that's the however that is. Yeah, empower the A would it merely empower them. Um, is it bad that I kind of want the A and I to win so I can go to war and take it? Mm. Or oh, we can just have who is it that likes me? The People's Party. So let's see. The Republic survives. And they get a stable. Hmm. Authoritarian Democrat. That one I'm guessing is the uh, other ones. Uh, I don't really want to waste my political power. And if I get it, yeah. Again, I kind of, I don't want to say I kind of hope the ANI wins, because I really don't, but political power and stability, that's nice. Political power, resource gain efficiency, and construction speed. Hmm. Let's actually get that. And then let's uh, trade some oil from Germany I just want two factories worth I won't put us above what we're using but it'll be good for now Greece seizes Austrian assets thanks to the rippling effect of Black Monday Austrian investors who held majority shares in Greek factories and mines have been closing their businesses down in some cases because they're unprofitable but in others because the investors have gone bankrupt the Greek government has responded by seizing many of the worst cases despite the treaty of Salonika 
sign after the war stipulated that our investors have unfettered access to their economy. Many in the government are suggesting we respond with sanctions, while others say the Greeks are simply doing what they have to do in order to survive. They could, after all, have seized all invest investor assets if they had wished, and, sim and simply and not simply some. Apply sanctions. The sanctions in the Greece will prevent them from peacefully joining our sphere of influence, or leave them be. We're all trying to cope. Now, if we come down here, let's no crush Serbia. Unify. Okay, so it does not allow us to knock out the Greeks, but if we approach Greece, we can do that. But I, th I think you can only have Bulgaria and not both and then I could always of course go to war for Greece um, or we could just say whatever and maybe get them later on uh, I might say whatever because the sanctions I don't think really do anything and then I'll go down there and crush them like yeah don't worry about it it's okay you know like I'm not mad and then I go down there and like tear their heads off um, I don't care about armor right now let's do the interwar artillery soft attack and reliability for our rifles pretty standard stuff there um, we're no longer getting arms export payment yeah I figured we weren't going to. Uh, an investment chance in Poland. As it so happens, Germany has decided to ban their leadership over the Polish state railways after the KPUGHSTE, the Prussian railway conglomerate, could not keep the railway running due to the massive economic downturn and a lack of funds. This railway route is perhaps the single most important railway for Germany connected in the Kaiserreich, pro or, yeah, Kaiserreich proper to her Ostatzen. The Polish government is planning to buy the route themselves, but should we decide to, we could buy the majority ownership of the loans. While the expen or while expensive in the middle of the crisis, this move would greatly increase our influence in the Polish economy and turn reduce Berlin's sway over them. This would give us leisure leverage in Poland. Yeah, it's worth fifteen political power. And I like how no one has put uh, anything up for sale. Usually, I'm like, is there any good deals going on? So we own fifty six percent of the Polish economy. So we should be at very strong, yeah. Do the space industries. We'll get rid of the the uh, socialist promises there. Gain a little bit of stability. Starting to get a little bit closer to the amount of guns we need. Manuel Carlos assumes full control in Argentina. And the ANI right now is not winning. There's the compromise. Um, that gives rid of divided society, which would be nice. But let's actually try to get Black Monday taken care of. We will lose some stability there. So we go to negative 30. Um... Canada declared war on South Africa, or the Union of South Africa. Let's see, these destroyers, part of the reserve fleet. Yeah, the second Rand Rebellion. Putting our main fleet there. I know you guys probably are not getting any type of uh, bonuses for uh, Demetrius Crown Czar. I'm actually going to stop training you then. Stop training you. Maybe start getting positive fuel. Uh, Democratic Coalition in Algiers. So the Republican Duras. Uh, legation Council City Vote. Or, yeah, the Legation Council votes on providing aid to the Sichuan province. Uh, the southern Chinese province of Sichuan is currently experiencing a terrible famine and struggling to save its people. They have requested that the Legation Council authorize the Legation Cities to help them open up new sources of grain until the land can recover. Many experts on Chinese politics, however, warn that the money we send for family relief could go directly into the Shishmanese uh, warlord's pocket, pockets. Yeah, let's try to sell, save them. Um, the Nanjing click is being 
beaten back by the Ming Gang insurgency. But German East Asia does have some uh, troops sent. Collapse of the United Baltic Duchies. So you now have Latvia, Estonia, and Riga. Man, Germany is uh, absolutely super weak right now. Hopefully they do their coalition. Uh, support for the Polish Republican movement. Ever since Germany robbed us of Poland during the Weltkrieg, we have been trying to undermine their monarchy. This project is born out of cooperation with the Austrian Poles. We desire unification with free Poland and the Imperial Hawks who see Poland part of Austria's natural sphere of influence despite German attempts to keep Poland firmly in their pocket. We've garnered a lot of influence in the kingdom, friend, or friendship organizations, industrialists, even ministers and counselors. The main vessel of our influence is the Central O Bloc, the democratic opposition to the king's government. We've been supporting the Central O for decades now, primarily through their contacts with the Galatian side of Poland. This is hoped, uh, or the hope is that if Central O can secure a major, major electoral victory, they will move Poland dramatically away from the German sphere and into ours, which would naturally benefit both of us more than the current situation. Sending them funds, or we have other issues. Yeah. Sorry, Poland. I mean, I'm not really sorry. I'm going to try to snatch you away from Germany. Vote passes. Germany has 1% of the economic influence in Poland. Coup d'etat in Siam. We'll fill our coffers. Uh, inflation. Control. Careful investments. And that should get rid of Black Monday there. So we got to do that. Non at 10% war. Uh, I don't do that. Front runner agenda. We all get military factories, which is very nice. Follow the Kingdom of Finland. Steel. We'll get it from Bohemia. Let's see. Get them synthetic oil refineries starting to be uh, researched because they will be very important here. Are you all getting any type of training? Yes. The ASMS Triant is not, but it is hurt, so that's why. Yeah, we need you guys to be good. I mean, the boats themselves not might be good, but I need them to uh, be okay. Uh, let's see. You're Crownland. I mean, yes, you guys have probably no rifles either. You have no rifles. Pretty much everybody has no rifles. Let's see. Is anybody selling some? Russia, you're selling a bunch. And some light tanks. Okay. We'll buy all of that from you. Put six factories on it. And we'll buy those. Leaves us only one factory constructing right now, but that is okay. Even though I'm positive on light tanks, because I am producing a very slight amount. Which I kind of want to see what these are. Creation of the International Avant-Garde. Oh, they're absolutely pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. We'll have to be switching those away. Uh, fill the coffers is done. We can siphon more funds and get... Uh, oh, we could sell our holdings, which I don't really want to do. We're going to acquire more. Let's just do this. Get the inflation under control. Siphon some more funds to the Republican. Uh, hopefully the central, I guess, is the social liberal. and they probably then the form the Kong Shru instead of the interpartisan circle. 
we shall see. Let's see. Battleships. Let's actually start with building um, some convoys because we will need some more than what we already have. Uh, we need more trucks and, of course, we need more rifles. So our factory output's only negative 19%, which isn't necessarily horrible. Not great, but not necessarily horrible. Why do they keep doing that? Uh, the Democratic Union government in Germany. Oh, they went full social democrat. So, whoa. I actually think that is the first time I've ever seen that one happen. So maybe Austria will not support the Reichsbach. There's a military coup in Japan and the 1936 Dublin elections. Or, I'm sorry, not elections. The 1936 Dublin Olympics. Mongol aristocrats take Mongolia. A Zveno coup in Bulgaria. Mausers. I don't need that. Yeah, so are you now. No, you're paternal autocrats, which I mean, that's. I'm okay with that. Click falls in the Civil War. The only reason I'm okay with that is because uh, I hope to become a paternal autocrat. Let's see. Only 3,000 negative in guns now. Uh, Middle Europa. Support industrial projects. Arms experts. No, we'll do the industrial products. Get that extra. Let's see, you guys. Are getting your training in. We'll actually probably set you to port. I'm going to set them to port. Let's try to gain some fuel. And then once we've gained up enough fuel, we'll go back to training. There's better radio. Better research speed. Get that better interwar artillery. The Bowler Pog M38. Um, Resource excavation, production efficiency gain for all of our artilleries. We can acquire some more Polish shares. We'll win a slim majority. Well, we'll hold out for right now. Balshamar. The all-Ukrainian democratic movement, like the Kingdom of Poland, the hetman of Ukraine is a reminder of our geopolitical designs Germany robbed from us. The legion of Ukrainian schist riflemen fought valiantly as part of our armies in the Veltz Krieg, but the democratic republic was quickly cast aside or cast away by the German military and their lackey, Pablo Skorpininsky. Ever since remnants of the Ukrainian republicans, directed by ex-Secretary General of Military Affairs Simon Petlira, have been based in Lviv, or Liv, the, uh, dis despite demands of extra extradition we have given the republicans safe harbor after all they are citizens of the dual monarchy and are allowed to organize whatever associations they want the austro the austro ukrainian friendship association chaired by archduke vaslev or vasil von habsburg has been a vocal supporter of a more democratic ukraine in the aftermath of the economic crisis and worsman hetmanite or hetmanite hetmanite oppression democratic forces in ukraine have band together and formed the all ukrainian democratic movement uh, the vdr they are currently engaged in mass protests and even armed resistance to the Hetman forces, and officially we cannot support them, but we also do not need to hinder them. The Crown Lions of Lodomeria has become their power base, and through there they have been smuggling equipment, men, and directing funds through the VDR held countryside on the Ukrainian side of the border. As the local administration in Lodomeria is more or less sympathetic towards their aims, nothing is done to stop them. If the Republicans manage to overthrow the heaven, they'll be grateful to us. Uh, gets event of vacationers and archdukes, and the Ukrainian state gets the Brody Road. Sure that the Ukrainians are not hindered. Uh, a 
vacationers and archdukes. The foreign minister of Balhas Plots recently received an angry call from the Ukrainian embassy. A large number of Austrian citizens have crossed the border in the last couple of weeks, which the ambassador claims is related to the recent troubles in Volhynia. More importantly, he also claims that one of these vacationers is none other than Archduke Wilhelm. The ministry given a fairly underwhelming response. They would seal the border if the Ukrainian government formally requested it, an indirect admission of a deep crisis in Ukraine, and ensure the Archduke would stay in Austria. What the ambassador didn't know was how deep the rabbit hole of Austrian involvement went. The war ministry has recently been granting generous leave to Galatian servicemen, while the Ukraine's own council in Limburg has helped the Evident Bureau with visas and intelligence. Later today, Emperor himself would report that his kinsman was last seen yawning in Losnitz and in the Adriatic, knowing full well that the Archduke car had already crossed in Ukraine, driven by the certain Vaslov Vishavani days before the official request. Go force Vaslov for your country needs. See if we can overthrow Ukraine from the Hetna. There's getting inflation under control. We'll do careful investments. Do these two, and then we'll do what we need. King Jane Click erupts in the war. We need more steel. Is it the French Socialist Republic? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. This is even more... Like, I don't think I've seen any of these... I mean, I've seen Britain under Os Oswald Mosley. I've seen, I haven't seen Adrian Marquette, I don't think. I've never seen Germany go into the social democratic Germany that I can remember. Well, we've seen that plenty of times. Persia likes us. Persia likes us a whole lot more than uh, military cooperation. Go watch Dimitri the Third. Yeah, every time I buy equipment from them, they cancel it. Radical Serbians, or radicals win the Serbian election. If I buy this stuff from them, you will cancel it again. Four. They've agreed, and they'll probably cancel it. Zupid secures power in Yunnan, so the uh, NRA, not NRA, the KMT take power. Increased joins the Beller Good Pact. The KMT, but I can't remember what they're called. Romania joins the Beller Good Pact. There's the foundation. Win a slim majority. Let's see. I guess I can't do protectors. Offensive air. Probably do that one. Congress of Belgrade argues for a new order in the or on the Balkans. On the initiative of Serbia, the representatives of several countries have convened in Belgrade to discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans. Uh, in these 14-day-long events, Serbs, Romanians, and Greeks plot to create a so-called new order in the Balkans, even going as far as to create a 14-point resolution which declares that only the self-determination of the people according to ethnic allegiances may be considered a just path to sovereignty and territorial claim. Clearly, the Balkans are restless once again, and the resolution of the Belgrade Congress will surely be used to justify a common war against Bulgaria and ultimately the Austrian Empire. What is to be done about these? The Serbs and Romania will think twice after an embargo. Or let them come. Uh, now nah, we'll bar embargo them. Which we should have hurt Greece with the sanctions as well, but yeah, they got plus forty percent production on equipment. Ooh. So 
fine from Russia. Mr. Kamal seizes power. I really don't need light tanks. I really need uh, some rifles. About to be done with care, uh, careful investments. Floyd Olson's elected president of the United States, so they've chosen the uh, Farm Labor, which is a uh, National Union Social Democrat. And then he gets to assassinate whoever he doesn't like. Which usually they assassinate uh, Huey Long, but we'll see if that's what they do. We'll subsidize the farmers. Industries one. We can do nineteen thirty six light tanks. Um, do the anti tank. Excuse me. The ANI wins the Italian elections. Kingdom of Spain declared war on Carlos Spain. Civil War, it was inevitable. Alright, well, with that, what do you guys look like? Not great. Yeah, none of you are incredibly great on that one. Um, I really could use Cyniclus and the Bradia Commune, some rifles. Shamar was annexed. Hetman Spodinsky flees Ukraine. Now you have the uh, People's Ukrainian, or the Ukrainian People's Republic. South Africans People Union join the Third International. Social Democrat. Um, that'd be the radical touch for the ascension. I don't want to see you guys go down these two. Democratic left victorious in Brazil. Let's see. The Ottomans, do I have market access? Yeah. Brazil. No. Oh, you won't. No. Let's see. Japan. No, we have it. Don't want it. Militaries vault in Paraguay. Yeah, I have market access pretty much everywhere in the world. They're just no one's selling any good weapons. Subsidies for farmers will do the men the social lift or the sorry, yeah, men the social rift, and then we'll do what we need. Then we can jump up here to the economic rehabilitation plans. And we can also do the, uh, expand the Austrian military. And we can do protector of the Balkans. Uh, front runner chosen, we got the civilian factory. Let's do the, uh, well, do the arms experts. Take a few days, 30 days for us to vote again. Ming Gang Insurgency has been annexed. Does that mean they're selling any of that? No, I don't want any of that. And like convoys, I don't need convoys right now. Um, 
Maybe though. Oh no, we'll pretty much be out of fuel in a few days. Germany canceled the non aggression pack. Why? Huh? Probably just hate me. Nationalist coup in Bolivia. Oh. Predicted election outcome for pro-Austrian opposition. A landslide. I would keep funding them, but if it's a landslide, then I'm not going to. Uh, do I have an intelligence agency? I do not. I need to get one. Lot Republic? What is that? Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Ice Gilot Republic. Oh, okay. Hmm. Don't think I've ever seen them turn that, but okay. Men, the social rift. Uh, the Congress of the Polish Socialist Party, the Socialist Party, will gather this week in Rotterdam to elect a new Central Workers Committee. This is of utmost relevance to us as uh, one candidate is our good ally, Norbert Barlicki, whereas another is a dangerous revolutionary socialist, Stanislaw Dubius, who is obviously in the French pocket. If Dubius and the, his faction win, it might lead to the radicalization of the PPS, the splintering of the Central Little Bloc, and the collapse of our efforts in Poland. Some of the less optimist, or yeah, optimistic people in our foreign office do not like the idea of meddling pulling even further and point out that Dubious is unlikely to win in the first place. We can pull a few strings to make sure he won't win, though. No, no. We want to secure what we need. That's a 56-day focus that gives rid of the uh, aftermaths of Black Monday. There's a fall of Madrid. Let's get the uh, army reformer. Start training up my troops to try to get some uh, army experience. Okay, so the uh, Norway, Sweden, they all join the Nordic Council. See, they went down uh, this, which is fine. Do I do I have market access? Oh yeah, usually they sell like a bunch of stuff especially if they uh like form the nordic um union so this this playthrough is going to be wild i'm just going to let you all know right now norbert barlecki is elected as the chairman of the pps which is who we wanted the vote was a close one and possibly the most intense in decades after hours of debate and arguments for both sides norbert uh, Barlecki supporters ultimately won the day. The result prompted outrage among the more radical members of Congress, but it seems this outcome gives the royal government a chance to breathe. Barlecki is not a fire and brimstone socialist like Du Bois, but he has been an open towards cooperation with the monarchy in the past. However, he is known to harbor contacts to the Austrian side of Poland, but then again, so is most of the central Al. So this is hardly news. It seems like we are popular in Poland. Gain 15 political power. We have to be popular in Poland. Selling to Sweden. There goes Serbia. Going to war with Bulgaria. How many troops can we send you? A, a, a total of a war. Well, then I would like to send you. Let me see. What do you guys look like? Uh, you're not very great. I know you all are horrible. Um, let's just give you the 1st Infantry Division under this guy right here. Let's 
standoff in America before Balkan Wars. Did they? Oh, so they knocked out um, Reed. Jack Reed. They killed Jack Reed. So now the American Union States has come about. Germany did send some units down to the Kingdom of Spain. The Evidence Bureau. Take some days. I'm gonna send them to Ukraine and try to improve our popularity. I'm really afraid. I don't care about the Workers' Party or the Radical Touch, but I don't want these two. Where are you guys at? Experienced. We'll let you all just keep going. Once you all get to the experience level. I will stop training them. The A and I did take power in Italy, so we're gonna have to watch out from an attack from the back. Um, give me some infantry divisions. Four is not gonna be enough to do anything. Four is better than none, so. You know, now that I think about it, I could take the manpower of my puppets. You have 74,000. None of us have a lot of manpower. Our one unit has arrived. They're not that great, though. Germany sent four, which is very nice to see. Do y'all ever make the peace deal with the Ottomans? Yes, you have the non-aggression pact. Perfect. So we won't be attacked from the rear. All those territories are annexed. Save up money. I have a bad feeling that uh, they're not going to be strong enough to do this. Ah, oh, Russia sent troops. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Finish what after what we need. And my units are I'm not going to say horrible. But my units are pretty horrible. Disperse initiatives too. Get that tuned economy. There's the second American Civil War. Well, hopefully, once this happens, uh, they will allow me to buy a bunch of the rifles from the American Union States, which they seem to be blitzing. What? Capture steel, uh, diplomatic pressure, control trade. Infiltration effectiveness. What do you? Now Poland. You're not a part of the central O. That's who we want to win. Over. Soft attack production. Um, then, uh, let's do the marine divisions. For That's what we need. So now our economy is finally into the tune. So we do economic rehabilitations. We do protector of the Balkans. And we can also start our military reform, which we most definitely will go down uh, Hickman's superior firepower. Um, let's see. I wouldn't mind doing that one first, but let's actually do, um, Protectorate of the Balkans. And I 
think we can finally say we're good. You're level two battleship. What's the design look like? Meh. Alright, we'll stop you. Y'all still are training, so. Artillery. We need a lot more support equipment. So let's see. Go to the market. Russia, you're selling support artillery. We'll buy all this trucks. Don't care about the light tanks. The Ottomans are selling some support equipment. Some artillery from the Princely Federation. Um, that one. We can support uh, the American Union states. The problem with that is uh, man, I I don't know how Floyd Olson's actually losing this. fired up oh because they get a plus 25 percent attack and defense bonus and the entente hates me so they're not going to allow me to buy anything from them that's nice panama canal crisis so panama joins the entente you know what we're going to be able to do maybe we can knock out serbia uh, if we can't, we can't. If we can, we can. We bought a bunch of equipment all around the world. Do the protector just to get that political power. Uh, victory through firepower now. Strategic destruction now. The land doctrine is probably what we'll have to go with. Your convoys rating decisive battle is probably what we'll do. An air reformer. I really do. We have an army yet? An infantry? Yeah, we do. I might need to just wait. Well, no. Let's do the infantry guy right now. All right, syndicalism spread to the Philippines. But with that, I'm going to end episode one of our Austrian Empire playthrough. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.